So my kid P12040 photoelectric smoke alarm started to trigger all of a sudden in the middle of the night. This is a pretty brand new unit. It had been in service for probably less than eight months at this point. Now the instructions on the back of the unit clearly state that you're supposed to remove the unit once a year and either clean them with a vacuum cleaner or blow compressed air through the openings around the sides of the unit. Now you'd think that if a unit needed to be cleaned in this way that there would be an easier way to open it, but no, instead they just give you these little slots that you can blow air through or use your vacuum cleaner, which is clearly an ineffective way of cleaning them out. And of course that's what I found. I followed that procedure using both the vacuum and compressed air, which I had to buy, and then reinstalled the battery and of course the unit triggered immediately. Okay, to open this unit, what you have to do is remove these uh, little foam inserts that are blocking clips that are retaining the top from the bottom of the unit. Of course, one has to be hidden behind a sticker because, you know, hey, we don't want to make any of this obvious or easy. So grab some tweezers or a small flat blade screwdriver and you're just going to pop these little things out. They're not glued in, they're just shoved in there, so they're really easy to remove. Set them aside and you're just going to reinstall them, of course, when you're done. Okay, with the clips exposed, you have to use a small flat blade screwdriver to kind of pry them apart. Here's a close-up. It's a fiddly operation, and as you can see, the lever just slides towards the center of the alarm. Make sure you get all three before trying to pry the unit apart. Next we're just going to remove the baffle on the left and the buzzer which is on the right. It's that black circle up there. We'll have to unscrew that. The photoelectric detector is there on the left. I'm pointing at it. It has these small vertical slots that go right around the unit and they're very small but spiders can somehow still get in there. With that said, spiders can get in, but for some reason they still can't get out, and compressed air can't get in either. That's why you have to take this apart. Now the photoelectric unit sort of comes apart in uh, two pieces. The top will actually separate from the bottom and there are these three little clips of different sizes that ring around the unit. You'll kind of have to pry each one of those open and then lift the top up. It, it's totally a fiddly operation so be patient with it so you don't break anything. After having said that of course I make it look easy here but believe me I actually re-recorded this segment a few times just so I wouldn't look like a dummy. Okay, so zooming in, and we can kind of see there is uh, our spider and some spider webbing. That's what we need to get rid of. That's a better look there. You can also see that the emitter is at the bottom of the photoelectric unit, and the receiver is at the top next to the tip of the screwdriver there. The spider web is, of course, in between both, which means that the light path is broken, and that triggers the alarm. Of course, this is completely different from an ionization unit, which follows different principles of operation. Okay, so let's grab some compressed air and clean this properly. 
you want to clean both the bottom piece of the photoelectric unit and then also its cover. And there you have it. Be sure to like this video, especially if it's been of help to you. Thanks for watching.